We're going to take a look at some of the stuff going on with Marvel Comics right now, particularly what they're doing to the Punisher, which I've kind of been following over the past couple of months because they've had this new storyline where they've decided to completely change the character around. They got rid of his symbol, the whole skull symbol. They got rid of that, changed it to this a Japanese demon looking thing. I, I don't know what it's exactly called, but they put that on his chest instead of the skull. And then they also took away his guns, gave him swords, and then eventually they gave him like straight up powers. It's it's, it's a weird way to do the Punisher. Well, let me change it. It's not weird because I know exactly what they're doing. They're trying to change the Punisher because they don't like that police have adopted the skull. I think some people in the military have taken it as well. Uh, definitely some right-leaning people like it. It's a cool symbol, for sure. One of the coolest like symbols for a character out there was that skull on his body armor. And he's just like a kick-ass character. But the biggest problem is he's glorifying guns. So they want to get rid of him. And boy, did they get rid of him. They literally applied cancel culture to him. I'm going to get into it, but I wanted to show this off first. It's a tweet that John De La Rose found. And he's posting this picture. This is of Steve Orlando. So Steve Orlando is a comic book writer. I, I don't know what he's doing now, but I know he did have a, a long run on Supergirl not that long ago. I don't know what else he's done, at least lately. I haven't really been following, like, mainstream comics that much anymore, other than a few things here and there. But he says this, he's, resp he's replying to someone doing, okay, so he's writing the Scarlet Witch. So there is a Scarlet Witch solo series out right now. And somebody asks, are the sales of Scarlet Witch doing okay? Do you think we could expect to have at least 30 issues? And he says, sales are struggling alongside the whole industry right now. We'll hopefully get to 10. To even get 15, sales will need to continue to climb. The industry is not doing very good. And one of the reasons it's not doing very good is because of bullshit like this. So, we have... The Punisher is no more. Marvel officially gets rid of its most controversial character. So this was really interesting. I took a look. So this, this series is over. And the last issue, issue 12, apparently pretty much a character, it's a character assassination of the Punisher. And... Everything about him, what made him, is undone. His wife shoots him at the end of the book. And, yeah, she's been brought back to life, by the way. She's been brought back to life. And it's revealed that in the park, when they were having their picnic and his family got killed, it's revealed that she was going to tell him that she was going to divorce him at the end of the date. And leave him and pretty much undo everything that he's done. This is a destruction of the character. And it's revealed pretty much, even they even admit it in this article, which is what's interesting, that it's pretty clear that the author, Jason Aaron, really does just not like the Punisher. <laughs> he does not like him. And to further hammer that point in, uh, Rise Again Von Star, who is an amazing comic book creator, by the way, if you have not checked out this guy's stuff, follow him over on Twitter and look at what he makes. This guy is making shit that could be in the mainstream. Should be in the mainstream, actually. But, you know, they they want people that do garbage like this. But anyway, to further hammer the point that I was making, this person clearly does not like the Punisher. Hates the Punisher, you could say, even, as he points out here. And what happens? Well... The person who hates the Punisher actually liked this run. They literally made this book for people that hate Punisher. And the people that liked this run, 
got screwed over because there were some people that liked the Punisher that were calling it a great run and explored Frank and all this stuff. And then at the end, they get this shit. Clearly, uh, another bait and switch destruction at the end of a run or after the first couple of issues, because this is a, a common thing in Marvel Comics. The first couple of issues will be really damn good. And then it'll get like woke or, or to just go off the rails and just start to go to shit or they'll take like the top talent they had. They'll take like that, the artist they had doing the book that was amazing. And then I'll switch him like a lower tier artist. It's a, it's like a bait and switch every time with Marvel. But I want to show you some of the stuff in this book. Cause it's really surprising. So here is his wife talking to him. And so apparently remember she was dead. She got brought back to life by the hand. Listen to what she says to him. That means I can finally finish what I was trying to tell you that day in the park. We're done, Frank. I want a divorce. And since technically I'm still dead, I've already got it. With some help from Natasha, I've taken the liberty of dividing your assets. I've sold your safe houses and all their contents. The real estate alone fetched quite the price. I have my half in cash and several duffel bags sitting in my new car. Your half was donated to various charities this morning in the names of our children. That's how you honor your dead family, Frank, not by using them as an excuse for slaughter. And he says, Maria, no, no. You had your time to speak while I was dead, and you said plenty. Now it's my time. All those years, you let yourself believe the lie that you lost your family to bullets. They were taken from you by a world run amok. But I'm here to remind you of the truth You'd already lost them before those shots were ever fired. You lost them all on your own. Goodbye, Frank. One of us has to live a life now, one that's been a long time coming. As far as when, as for when you disappear down whatever abyss they're about to hurl you down, do us a favor, stay dead. And then apparently he goes to some new world and uh, protects like some children. And he says, Frank, call me Frank. So, <laughs> this is an awful way to treat this character. Like, literally, like, this is one of the nastiest things I think I've ever seen them do to a character. They literally destroyed everything about him, took away everything that made him the Punisher, insulted him. Like, the woman he loves, turns out she was always going to leave him. Uh, and when she does come back to life, she takes all of his shit, and <laughs> she takes all of his money, She's about to go out and party, get split roasted, and uh, sends her husband down a hole to die. But So, of course, naturally, people that hate the Punisher like this run. And then you take it, we can take it full circle back to this tweet by Steve Orlando where he says the industry's not doing very good. Well, I present to you Exhibit A on why it's not doing very good. A Marvel officially gets rid of its most controversial character. Well, he was never controversial. He's controversial with a bunch of weirdos, and most of them work in the comic book industry. They're willing to take this character and just officially just burn him, impose cancel culture on him in a way, and uh, destroy him because they don't like his fans. They don't want his fans. They don't like him. There's no reason. You just left the character in flux. But instead, they decided to make a whole run that bait and switched real fans of the character and ended up pleasing people that hate the character. They would rather make the people that hate the character happy than the people who love the character. And then you wonder why the comic book industry is dying. Who is, who, how is that a good business tactic? to cater to people who hate the character over the people who love the character. It's mind-blowing. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Comment below. Let me know, like, how do you feel about this? What are your thoughts on this? Remember to hit that notification bell as well. Subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. 
You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.